Here's what's happening today. The tax-free weekend for clothing and school supplies ended a couple of days ago. Helped a lot of parents send their kids back to school at a lower price. And the savings haven't ended. Now the state passed a second tax holiday, which started today and runs through October. Local 3's budgeting expert Riley Nagel is ready to help you save some money. Just when you thought we couldn't save any more money, we got back-to-back tax-free holidays. While this tax-free weekend was all about saving money going back to school, this tax-free holiday for the next three months is all about saving money at the grocery. So to help the community, this is a great way for people to, to see some money back in their pockets. Michelle Mason with the BBB says thanks to the Tennessee Works Tax Act passed by Governor Bill Lee and the General Assembly earlier this year, Tennesseans are getting the single largest tax cut in the history of the state. And they're estimating the impact statewide to be about $273 million in savings for those of us that are buying food. I spoke to a customer coming out of Walmart who had just heard about the new tax holiday. That will help many people in this country. And um, whoever had that idea, I, I, I'm, I'm you know, very happy with that person. Governor Lee said in a statement regarding the tax holiday, in part, quote, In Tennessee, we cut taxes any chance we get because families should keep more of their own hard-earned dollars, end quote. Each family is expected to save around $100 on most grocery items, but there are some exceptions. Um, and that includes alcoholic beverages, tobacco, dietary supplements, candy, so they want to make sure we're being healthy, uh, and a couple other items too. So you do want to make sure you know the exceptions. Mason believes a tax cut will bring some much needed financial relief to residents. Right now, and food costs have gone up, so if we can see something coming back off of that uh, receipt at the grocery store, I think that'll be really helpful to our community. A reminder, the tax holiday ends at midnight, October 31st. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Riley Nagel, Local 3 News. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee calls this the single largest tax cut in state history. Now, last year, this grocery holiday lasted 30 days. This year, it lasts 90. And this could result in millions of dollars in savings for families and businesses while supporting future economic growth. It's safe to say families will save between 6.25% and 6.75% on every grocery bill. Jack Johnson, the Tennessee Senate Majority Leader, says in Tennessee, we're committed to low taxes. We believe that Tennessee businesses and citizens are in the best position to decide how to spend their own money, and these tax cuts demonstrate that we practice what we preach. Well, one place where many Americans saw costs rise the most are eggs. Here's a look at egg prices locally. It compares the prices we reported at the beginning of February with today's prices at grocery stores across the Tennessee Valley. The cost of eggs have remained steady, though since June, locally, Walmart has the lowest prices at 97 cents a dozen.